So if you guys watch the NHL videos, you're absolutely aware of the legendary Bojangles and Krangles. Today we're gonna be heading out to his shop, helping him work on his Honda instead of this one for a change. And uh, it's good to be back doing the IRL content. Let's get to it. What do you got? Uh, one six Z6 single cam. I had it since I was 16 years old. Cams pretty much helped me with everything I've ever done on this thing, other than the turbo swap, stock internals. We're just gonna blow it right up to the moon, man. <laughs> That's the plan. Did you say 400 is the goal with the tune? Yeah. Okay. If I get 200, man, I'm gonna be happy. Dude, if you get 200, I'm gonna be happy because then we can race and get some bets. <laughs> Nothing special at all. So, uh, as you guys can tell, it's a little bit of a work in progress here. I don't even know what, were we gonna do fuel pump? Something like that? Yeah. Is that what we're up to? Okay. Here's the fuel pump, guys. Obviously, uh, more power means that you need more fuel. So, bigger fuel pump means more fuel. Uh, you're doing injectors too, is that right? Oh, got the brand new. Oh, oh baby. Straight out of fuel injector clip, 525s. We're trying to be go. ripping, dude. We're trying to go today. This thing be ripping. With all the money I spent on go fast bits, I probably should have bought a new motor, but. <laughs> K20, dude. Don't know anything about motors, but I can do this stuff. They're easy to drop out of these things, dude. You drop the subframe, lift the car up, and slide it out. So if you ever want to go K-series, you let me know. Yo, you want to explain the piping? Where everything runs? Hot side, cold side, all that? Oh, hell yeah. So, oh, I got just a fat battery in the way. So, stock Z6 intake. This is your intercooler piping with your blow-off valve. It goes into the intercooler, around, down in the back of the turbo. I got an intake with no filter because I'm an idiot. Where's the intake? I got no intake. I just straight here. Oh, okay. I got no filter set up because I got no room with my power steering. I still have power steering straight out of eBay. Bolted in. Is this in. the final bumper design? Oh, yeah. I, I just cut that it. right out. Everything's <laughs> held together with different size clamps. I got cool. zip ties on either side. That is amazing. You just gotta hide it with the old. <laughs> Massachusetts license plate. Uh, yo, dude, dude, we'll cut it. We'll get a uh, front lip and we'll put it to cover the piping. It'll look like a stock front bumper. We'll shave out the middle of it. I did. I built a little stock dump tube off the wastegate. Cam, the wastegate is bigger than my motor. You welded that up? Yeah, I made this little bad girl up. Should start right. I bought. I bought a new O2 sensor just to slam in there so she didn't blow up on me. And the check engine light left. So right now we're uh, on the stage of out with the old before in with the new. Yes. No idea. At all what I'm doing. It smells nice and fuel -y. This guy, dude. <laughs> I love the dock. All right, everything I've read says use the stock sock because the one they send you with the eBay Walbro knockoff is trash. So that's what I'm gonna do. Don't wanna break the clip. <laughs> Don't wanna break the clip. And I broke the clip. I said I didn't wanna break the clip. Yeah, I did. But only half. You only need half the clip. Actually, no, pull it from the pump itself. From the pump? You can get to that clip. If it's easier to do it on the top. I mean, yo! Oh! 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 Lordy, lordy, that would have been silly. And I would have been on the tube. Yeah, you lube. Spin out. <laughs> Demonetized. Demonetized. All right, guys. So Dave wiggled out the old boy. There's the new boy. Here's your side by side. This is the stock, stock, stock. This is the new one. Everyone says. This thing, so <laughs> gone. Remember, I, boy. I actually need a washer out of that, so I'm gonna go find that. You don't always have to change your socks. <laughs> All right, so she's on. Cam's gonna help me with this stupid retaining clip. He doesn't drop it. He doesn't drop it. He doesn't drop it. Down with the wind. Oh, yeah, wait, that lake is covered, right? That landed in there, somewhere. 
I don't even have good eyeballs. I'm not even gonna see this thing. Ladies and gentlemen, don't drop little things. Do it over a table so you don't look like this. She is long gone Johnson. Oh, wow, you look like a hero, dude. At this angle. <laughs> so I fixed my up after yeah. I dropped the washer. Is this even a fuel pressure hose? Like, what the f It's straight out of eBay, so most likely it's nothing. Vacuum hoses keep on slipping, slipping, slipping. Yeah. The girth's the same. There you go. <laughs> Love me some girth. Give me the clamps. Give me the Give him the gears. Feed him the corn. Turn out. <laughs> Just break his windshield here, like. Probably should put on those snap-on safety glasses that I was talking about earlier. You guys have a, uh... Ooh! Look at Cam go, dude! There, fuel pump. This guy's a stud. And then... Oh no, get that clamp on first. Yeah. That was a prick. Oh, <laughs> she's backwards! Oh no! No, we're good. Watch. Watch this. Cam says he can move it without destroying his electrical unit. I say... Where is she? Where is she? Give me shine, Lewis. Let's go. Let's go! Why you have a fuel leak under your seat? No, you have to smell. Just getting high on my own supply. Feels good to drive. I don't know why, man. <laughs> Got that brand new fuel pressure regulator in there. So we're gonna dial her into 43 pounds. A smart guy would just fire it up to see if she goes, but that I'm not. We're not made out of money over here in TNS Media. But damn it, we're trying. All right, go again. Go again. One more time. All right, go for the fire, baby. Push that clutch and make sure she's in neutral. I don't want to get run right over. Make sure you like the video if you do enjoy it. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.